let's convert fractions to decimals. For our first one, we have one half. Remember, a fraction bar also means division. So we're going to do 1 divided by 2. Since 2 cannot go into 1, I need to add a decimal and a 0 and take our decimal straight to the top. 2 can now go into 10 5 times. 5 times 2 is 10. Subtract and that will give me 0. So my decimal for 1 half is 0 0.5. Let's look at our next one. 3 fifths would be 3 divided by 5. So we set this up. Again, 5 cannot go into 3. So I add a decimal and a 0 and bring the decimal straight to the top. Now, 5 goes into 30 6 times. 6 times 5 is 30. So my decimal for 3 fifths is 0 0.6 or 6 tenths. For 3 fourths, we're going to do 3 divided by 4. Again, 4 cannot go into 3, so I add a 0 and a decimal. 4 goes into 30 7 times. 7 times 4 is 28. Subtract, and that will give me 2. Now, I need to add a 0 and drop it down. 4 goes into 20 five times evenly, so that will give us 0 0.75 for 3 fourths. For our last one, let's see what happens when we can't get an even decimal. 5 divided by 6. So we add our decimal and our 0. 6 goes into 50 eight times. 8 times 6 is 48. Subtract and that will give me 2. Add a 0 and bring it down. 6 goes into 20 3 times. 3 times 6 is 18. Subtract and that will give me 2. If I add a 0 and drop it down, we're back to 6 going into 20 3 times. You will notice a pattern. If this continues to happen, that means the 3 is going to repeat, so you can put a bar over the 3 to show that my decimal would be 0 0.83 repeating. Since the 3 is the only number that repeats, you just put the bar over 3.